More than half a century ago, James and Ann Hubble made 10 acres of land in the Julian area home and raised a family of four sons here. Eight buildings in the Hubble complex are situated just off a hillside of a narrow dirt road. Three are for living, four are working studios, and the eighth is the boys' house, a gothic structure where each of their sons moved into when he was 14. Plus a chapel built by artists in residence, ranging in age from 17 to 65, who came from all over the country to work with renowned artist James Hubble. The Cedar Fire in 2003 severely damaged most of the buildings. The boys' house, however, stood strong. You might be wondering why the buildings are spread out across the land. James wanted to do three things, fund his own projects, experiment with them, and not destroy nature by cutting down any trees. You know, you wake up in the morning and you say, well, I'm going to change the wall. I'm going to do something different. So it's like, it, it's a conversation with the land and with the weather and with the building materials that goes on all the time. To him it's not work. He's always creating uh, painting or uh, making sculptures, but he's always in his studio or creating new buildings. I moved here in 58, uh, 1958, and uh, probably started the building uh, right away. Most of this was built with my wife and I. I remember mixing cement where we could barely uh, lift the shovel and we were laying the adobe blocks from a very young age. So he had an immediate work crew of four boys. The place kind of has been an anchor for me, particularly this room, because my childhood was kind of erratic. I was really bad at school and I could do art and I couldn't go to college because I couldn't spell. So I think growing up is kind of learning that the whole world is your world. And the universe is your universe and just gradually taking it all as part of your family. Growing up here with four boys, we always had somebody to play with. So this is a lot of fun. Anybody ever fall off? No, you learn to hold on very tight. My dad does decided to design a place or a building that was very sculptural and he thought his four boys would enjoy growing up in. Uh, before the fires there were oak trees everywhere and there were giant oaks around here that just disintegrated. The buildings have been what has taught me. You do something and it looks like a mistake rather than saying that's a mistake, step back and look at it. I could point out certain things like columns that I did one way I started to do them that way, and because it bothered me, it was, I discovered a whole new way to do the column. Mistakes are gifts, and if you can not fight them, they're on your side. We were laying this column with redwood um, and pouring the concrete, and the concrete, or the column blew out at the bottom, the formwork. So the I thought it was ruined. I said, oh, we got to start all over. And he said, no, no, just leave it the way it was. And he came back and mo did mosaic tile at the bottom of the column, and it looked better than it would have. So that was one of those lessons that I, you know, being a perfectionist, I learned early on that not a lot's going to get done if everything has to be the way you think it has to be. I started out in the architectural world uh, working with Wayne Donaldson. He's the state historic preservation architect. But I wanted to... Um, work in environmentally friendly buildings about 15 years ago. So I left his office and started a firm Hubble and Hubble with my father. And so we support his design work sometimes. We'll do our own work. We did the first park in Russia, in Vladivostok, and then we did one in San Diego and Shelter Island, and then in Yantai, China, Tijuana, Palawan, in the Philippines. I think what's different about what we do is that I, I don't separate things. You know, I don't understand when you do that. So it, it's really to bring nature and the human being together, and probably through art. So many people don't get a chance to do anything with their life, and they're just... You know, I've just been really lucky. For Art Pulse TV, I'm Phoebe Chong Chua.